snowing again. Yesterday I'm on the road uh, with uh, going down to Cortland and I looked at that Massey 1526. And today we're getting in the snow. Um, it's supposed to change. We're supposed to get uh, really cold weather. Been in the 20s the last two days. Now it's going to get into, I don't know, they're saying zero. Uh, wind chills, obviously, they always talk about wind chills, but real temperature is around one and zero degrees. Um, and uh, there's a coastal storm down there uh, by uh, Jersey and New York City area down that way. Um, that brought them a lot of snow uh, down on the, the east coast. Uh, we're getting uh, lake effect snow, and we're supposed to get around. I don't know. They, everybody's always different. You know, you can't predict. They say they like to, you know, they're, they're close, but I, I'm guessing we're going to get around 10 inches of snow between now, which is today is Thursday and Saturday, we're supposed to get around 10 inches of snow. But the temperatures is what, what's a killer. You know, if you, uh, you got to watch your cars, uh, the, the, your pipes. I've got, um, oh, I've got, uh, you know, the tractors and make sure they run. I probably use it for snow removal, at least the Massey Ferguson, you know, my GC. So, um, I'm trying to do some running around this early morning, uh, to get some supplies so I don't have to run around, uh, tomorrow. I'll be all set. And my, and when I mean supplies, I mean coffee. That's it. Yeah. Um, I got to have coffee. So, uh, and a lot of people say, you know, don't drink so much coffee. I don't drink a whole lot. You know, I'm not drinking a pot a day. I, I drink probably, I don't know, three or four cups, I guess, half a pot. No, I, I probably do. I've cut, I've cut way back though. Um, I used to drink at least a pot of coffee a day, but I cut way back. So, um, so basically, uh, today I'm just getting uh, ready for the storm. There's a lot of traffic on the 174 today. So I have to wait for the traffic, huh? And it's not traveling really fast because it's snowing. Um, but as far as yesterday's video goes, uh, I wanted people to know too that I'm not dissatisfied at all with my 1720. I, I, the tractor, you know, performed very well. Um, you know, I was excited yesterday about the the, the uh, lift capacity and how fast it responded when you you know grabbed your you know lever and yes I was very there's an idiot plow driver about ready to just jam right out into the roadway without stopping but yeah uh, I was uh, very excited uh, and so I'm not dissatisfied with the GC, that's all I'm saying, to the 1720, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, yes, the, the bucket loader is slower than, than this, this one I'm looking at. Um, but it did its job, you know, it's not that it didn't do its job, it was a very, very functional tractor, it is a very functional tractor, and um, it, 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 it's just, um, for what we got to do with a farm now, you know, it's just, you know,
know, it's it's small. You know, I I wanted to run the tractor. I thought I could, and you know, I don't know if we're really gonna. I mean, it's 95% sure we're gonna get the uh, the 1526. But if we don't, you know, it still will have to do the job. So um. But anyway, I didn't. Wa I wanted people to know I'm not unhappy with the 15 or the the, the 1720. It was. A, it's a really good tractor, really good. It's just not large enough for farm work. That's all there is to it. For you know, um, and but I, my farm, I don't need a you know big 4020 or these new John Deere's and big big farm track. I need. I need. You know at least a tractor like the 1526 to just do this one row potato picking and everything it still needs a pretty a larger frame tractor anyway engine wise you can use a uh, 25 horse no problem all these machines I have can easily take that so um, anyway I wanted to just film that part and uh, or say that to you guys I should say but we're getting into the town, and I've got to get it and get some coffee, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys. start and we're gonna get this tractor going hopefully sounds like it'll open uh it's thursday the day after i looked at the 1526 Obviously, I filmed a little bit. Um, I got to use this. She's been a good old faithful. I mean, I really has been. I'm actually sorry to see her go and wave out of ways because she's been a wonderful machine. Um, glow, glow plugs working. They're gonna change all my electrical for me. That stuff and uh, my halogen lights. They're gonna take off this tractor and you know uh, put them on the 1526. Really is a really is a good tractor. Uh, just for farm work, it's well, basically not big enough. I mean, it, if if I have to, I'll keep it. You know, if I can't actually make the deal, uh, and it'll have to do the work. I'll have to use the John Deere, rely on that more. But I'd rather have the 1526 and rely on that one more. Got a lot of additive in this fuel, um, so it's just coal starting it. It's bad for it, but um, once she's running, you know the fuel isn't going to gel at least. It's going to. It's getting cold again. All right, let's see if we'll start. <laughs>
purposes today. Well, I might do some of this driveway while I'm here. But uh, I'm doing it for, you know, pumping water into the barn. Okay. I'm definitely out of water. And I don't have my big winter gear on yet. Tomorrow I'll probably have to it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be nasty. Yeah, the ghosts are wanting to know where I've been. There's a kitty cat. right well I had to go and uh, deliver potatoes a, oh huge mistake I made and left some potatoes on the ground in the garage delivered them and they were frozen and I had to t take the guy a hundred pounds and you know uh, that was lessons learned but yeah Alright, these guys are ready to eat, so I've got to feed them. I'm late, very late. So they're ready to eat. And I gotta, I'm letting that Massey warm up uh, for pumping water. And i got to get that in and just put it in there. And uh, get that done. Right? Yeah, I know it. Okay, let me get this done or those. We're going to... Oh, they got their pistols out now. Oh, wait a minute, they're gonna shoot me. Hacha! <laughs> I don't know. This camera's cold. I had it outside and left it in the barn while I was getting everything running. So it's cold. Just holding it. it the metal is cold. So I'm in the car. You can see that it's snowing pretty good now. Um, I don't know what the temperature is. It's probably still in the 20s right now. Maybe getting a little bit chillier. But it's supposed to be zero here soon. So, um, it's going to be a nasty couple days. As, uh, I got to go probably, you know, they're expecting, I think, you know, between 6 and 10 inches of snow in the next three days. So I'll be out plowing with a Massey, but it'll be cold, <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, just have to dress warm for it and uh, hope for the best. Hopefully the tractor road started today like we, you know, you saw. And other than that, if it don't, I'll be shoveling the driveways by hand. Well, my battery died last time I was filming, but you really can't see much out here. Um, there goes a car. Uh, maybe a good idea. It's really windy. The temperature is uh, probably around five to three, three to five degrees. It's supposed to drop at zero. nasty you know the headlights I can see trucks running oh my gosh I know you can't see anything I'm sorry but I wanted to give you an idea what it's like in blizzard conditions you know you can just barely you see the light there on the house I gotta go over to the barn. Not far away. Trucks in four wheel drive. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. I mean, all right, we got our lights on. Let's go.
It's pretty nuts out here. Well, oh, there's a car coming, so I'm going to back up because I can't. I really can't. Uh, I don't want to be in front of that car. Oh, here comes a car, too. So, um, because I got to make a turn, that's why I'm waiting for that car. Oh, well, we're going to go down to the barn and see what it looks like. This is driving in a blizzard. see those drifts hopefully I don't know if you can but the gusts of wind you can feel them when they hit you right especially where these drifts are because there's it's like an open field there so um, I see a snow plow now so This guy's oh that's uh that's the neighbor guy. So there's the barn. Oh you can't really see much. But I'm gonna venture down here. Hopefully I can back out. should be able to. If not, just leave the truck here and walk home. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the barn, you can see it. Not so much wind here. I really can't see much because of the but it's it's nasty. This is this is really nasty. And it's gonna be like this, they said now for um it's Thursday night. Uh, they said it's gonna be like this until probably into Sunday morning. So this is what we're going to be in for. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do because I don't have a cab on my tractor. It's going to be uh, <coughs> pretty much zero degrees throughout the, this whole weekend. And there's going to be a lot of snow, so um, basically I'm going to be frozen. I'll, I'll probably plow this driveway out tomorrow during the morning and then uh, if the plows do the roads pretty good then I will um, basically just you know try to get down there do the driveway get in the house warm up do my neighbor's driveway warm up and then bring the tractor back and hopefully she starts I definitely got I've got a fuel supplement in it so you know that's not the problem it won't be the problem I'm going to take that kerosene heater that's in the barn though tomorrow before I start this tractor and uh, and I'm going to set it right next to it and uh, at least let it warm up around it before I start it tomorrow because it's going to be that cold. 